Hi everyone, I'm Mace with Rumsey. In this short video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to go from a standard panel view project to a panel view plus. We're going to use software from the original software, actually from panel 32, which programs the older standard panel views, such as they have here. And we'll have to export from that or have the project offline. Then we're going to import that project into Factory Talk View Machine Edition. One thing to keep in mind with any migration of going from old to new is you have to be fully familiar with the project before you start. You have to know if it has any bugs or at least the full operation of the panel view that's currently running before you go into the new product. If you don't, you might, have, you might waste time trying to correct the problem in the new product when it was already in the original product to begin with. So let's look at the computer and the software itself. First, I'm going to open Factory Talk View Studio. My particular version is the Enterprise, which also includes the Site Edition. So I'm going to have to select Machine Edition. So in case you have the same, you want to make sure you hit Machine Edition. You'll get the prompt to either open existing or new. This is going to be new. You'll hit new, and you need to give it some sort of name. So I'll just go, I like all caps sometimes, so I'll say standard to PVP for PanView Plus. Okay. Once you do that, you'll notice at the bottom, there's a create or an import button. If I hit create, it's just going to create a new project as you would probably have done before. So I'm going to hit import. You'll get the normal message about the enterprise and all that. Don't worry, hit OK. This is part here is where you're selecting the file format. I'll go through that real quick. The top is the PBA, Panner Builder Application. If you have saved the file, uh, from panel number 32, it would be this top selection PBA. The next one, some of you may notice that it's the E version or enhanced version panel views. That was the much older one that had a CRT and they came in 12 and 14 inch sizes. That's what the PVC file. The next one is the one we're going to use because I simply uploaded the demo PVA to do this migration video for you. The last one is machine edition runtime. This is how you'd actually import a much older version of a PanView Plus project, not really pertaining today, but I might as well mention it since it's on your screen. Uh, if you had an older version, let's say 3 or 4, sometimes even version 5, this might be the only way you can actually have that imported into a newer version of Factory Talk View Machine Edition. So I'll hit that PVA, the next button. Now it's telling me where to go for that file. I'll hit my browse. And since I did this before, it goes right to where my PV file already exists. OK? I'll say Open. I'll say Next. Now it's saying Convert the Window Size. Now a standard, uh, I'm sorry, a PanView Plus um, and even uh, some of the PanView Plus 7s have a particular resolution you have to match it for. This 1000 is very, very close to the PanView Plus 1000 for as far as sizing of the screen. So it would be actually a 640 by a 640 by 480 size, OK? If you notice it says scale graphics, it's going to do its best to scale all these graphics to make it look the same as it was from the original on the new product. Enable touch, that's important. You probably want to still use the touch feature, all right? And really, just go onwards and hit finish and hesitate for a minute. So now it's generating all the files. And you'll find this usually takes about a minute. It really depends how, much, uh, how many screens you have. One thing to always keep in mind, the machine edition um, uh, for PanView Pluses does not have a screen limit. So you do not have to worry about it being only 25 screens or 30 screens or whatever. If it's a PanView Plus Compact, which is not a PanView Plus standard or regular or performance in nowadays terms, then you might get into a screen count issue. So again, have a little knowledge of the first uh, the, the project you're going to convert. And if it gets around that 15, 25 screen range, uh, give us a call. We can help you with, uh, make sure you have the new product chosen correctly. All right, so now you can see it's just cranking through the graphics and converting everything. When it gets done, it will give you some sort of status in the little text file of what happened. And this is just talking about how some of the bits and the alarms and triggers um, were noted, and it tells you what screens to beginning your cleanup work. As with any migration, it's not going to be 100%. So that goes back to knowing your application really well 
in the old product, how it should run in the new product. I'll just hit OK. Let it finish up. So the first thing before you start navigating and correcting screens is uh, be deterministic of what particular controller you're going to connect to. And most people like to do both at the same time, but I understand budget and time doesn't always allow for that. If that is your in-between situation, you want to make sure that whatever your links are in the new version, Factory Talk Links, used to be called Factory Talk Enterprise version 9 and older, would be the connection to the PLC, and you want to make sure that that is um, going to match your PLC hardware that you connect to. Always do your communications first, right? And that's, that's basic knowledge. To connect all your buttons, your screens, whatever all your tags are going to be connected up to. Okay? After you start that up and you're done, go ahead and hit the little displays. And you can start to see how here is all the old screens that was imported from that project. And you're like, okay, you didn't show me what the old project looks like. Well, that's no problem. I actually have it right here in panel version 32 to show you. Now, panel version 32, if you do have a copy of it, only runs in a 32-bit environment, originally for Windows XP. I've had very good success running it in Windows 7 32-bit, but I have not been able to run it in Windows 7 64-bit, and certainly not a Windows 10 environment. So keep all that in mind if you're going to try to use the old software to upload it from the panel view, or if you want to manipulate it some way before you do the migration. Okay, so now we have the old Panel Builder 32 project up. You can see what the screens look like. And as I'm just showing the bottle filling to make it easy, you can see the, the font and all that, and if you put your mouse over it back then, you would actually have the indication of the tag or where that all got generated from. For instance, here's a start button. Put the mouse over there. It's telling me the write and read tags, all of those kind of things. A lot of that you'll find, if I go back to, to um, the same screen now in View Studio, you'll find in some instances, if you put your mouse over that tag button, go to Connections, it's going to have the same tag name. So now, since you have the same tag name, you could go into the tag editor and link them up to the new controller or the old controller, if that's the case, you're leaving the controller there, to get all these buttons to work on the PanView Plus like it was in this. Now, Ethernet, very easy. If you had to go any other those other networks I mentioned, remote I.O. or uh, DH+, you'll probably need an Ethernet to whatever that new other network is, gateway, to communicate through. A few curveballs there, absolutely, but it, you'll find it's pretty simple. Okay, let's take a look. This is what it would look like on the PanView Plus, and as you can see, they're very, very, very close. Now, <laughs> some of you might be saying, hey, Mace, that's not great-looking graphics and all that. In, out, same thing, right? It's not going to change all the colors and all the schemes, because if you remember, we had 256 colors available back then, later versions, but later um, or higher, but um, we don't have millions of colors available in Panama 32 like we do today's world. So yes, at least it's an operational function, no rework right away. You should be able to just readdress the tags and get the same performance or better than you did from the old original panel view. And that's really all I have for you. If you have any questions, please direct to myself or any of the other specialists with the ASG group with Rumsey, and we'll be glad to help you. Thanks for your time.